What's up guys, it's Warren here from Blue Cloud Creation X and today I'm going to go over Bounce with you. So basically Bounce is a physics element. So what I'm actually going to do here in this video is show you how a circle, circle sprite, bounces off an object or basically a paddle. So this is just going to be the introduction to a little series I'm going to make which is going to be a block uh, a block breaker game. So the so for first thing I'm going to do is we're going to create a new sprite. So let me do, before I do that, this is our main camera. So this is what the, what the player is going to be. Uh, this is our boundary which the player is going to see. Uh, our aspect ratio is uh, 16 by 9. So let's get started. I'm going to go here, I'm going to create a new uh, sprite. So we can create different kinds of sprites, but for this I'm just going to use a typical square and I'm going to call this the paddle. So let's drag this and drop it in there. And let's extend this and as you can see I also have a canvas here so this canvas is this entire uh, um, this entire block of space which we can design on but I'm just using the main camera now because it's easier to focus on so this is just an extension so if we go into our main camera we have our little block, so we're going to move this on that much. And let's change the color just to make it a little bit cool. I'm going to change this to a grayish. Okay. Yeah, should be okay. And let's create a new sprite. Create new sprite. I'm going to make this a circle. So this is going to be our ball. And let's drag it out in there. And of course, if it's a block breaker game, the ball needs to be a little bit more tinier. That should be okay. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a collider on this box. So this collider, as you can see, the green circulates, encapsulates onto the box. So we also want to put a collider on our circle, on our ball, but we want to use a circle collider. So this surrounds the entire sprite. And if we want to edit it, we can just use our edit collider because you can see it's not exact. Just move that into place. And this ball will not collide with our paddle because it doesn't have any physics element. So to initialize, to need to make this ball have physical properties, we want to create a rigid body, 2D. So we can create a rigid body in 3D space, but we don't need this because we're only working with 2D elements right now. So let's create a rigid body 2D. So right now the body type is dynamic. Dynamic allows us allows the object to be have physical properties in the in the game world so this will this will make the ball fall let's also change the color of this to red so what's going to happen now is that this ball will hit this block if we click play. So this is what happens. But the problem with this is that it's not bouncing. So to create bounce, we want to create a new... And also good practice is to put these in a folder called sprites, or whatever you want to name it. 
but just to keep things organized. So right now we want to create a physics material 2D. As you can see this thing looks like it's bounce already. So we're gonna call this bounce. And for this friction, we don't really need frictions. So with bounce zero, we won't have any bounce. If you look at the documents, but if we hit it to, if we change it to one, that means it will bounce with no loss of energy. So what this actually means is that this ball will bounce, reach that point, and continuously bounce and get higher because it's not losing any energy as it bounces. But if we change it to say 0 0.5, we will see that this object bounces and loses energy. So that's it for the tutorial guys. This is the first series of creating a block breaker game. So hit subscribe for more of the upcoming videos and also check out my first game in the in the description. I'll leave a link to the Play Store and you can join our Discord server also which is full of other resources. Thanks for watching guys, cheers.